Record one, announcement, the wisest of lines, an epic poem. I am merely copying out here, word for word, what was printed today in the State Gazette. In 120 days from now, the building of the Integral will be finished. Near at hand is the great historic hour when the first Integral will lift off into space. A thousand years ago, your heroic forebears subjugated the whole of planet Earth to the power of one state. It is for you to accomplish an even more glorious feat. By means of the glass, the electric, the fire-breathing integral, to integrate the indefinite equation of the universe. It is for you to place the beneficial yoke of reason round the necks of the unknown beings who inhabit other planets. Still living, it may be in the primitive state known as freedom. If they will not understand that we are bringing them a mathematically infallible happiness, we shall be obliged to force them to be happy. But before taking up arms, we shall try what words can do. In the name of the benefactor, all members of one state are hereby informed of the following. Everyone who feels himself incapable of doing so is required to compose treatises, epic poems, manifestos, odes, or other compositions dealing with the beauty and grandeur of one state. Any, everyone who feels himself capable of doing so. This will be the first cargo transported by the integral. Long live one state. Long live the numbers. Long live the benefactor. As I write this, I feel my cheeks burning. Yes, to integrate completely the colossal equation of the universe. Yes, to unbend the wild curve, to straighten it transentially, asymptotically, to flatten it to an undeviating line, because the line of one state is a straight line. The great, divine, precise, wise, straight line, the wisest of all lines. I, D-503, builder of the integral, I am only one of the mathematicians of one state. My pen, accustomed to figures, is powerless to create the music of assonance and rhyme. I shall attempt nothing more than to note down what I see, what I think, or, to be more exact, what we think. That's right, we, and let this we be the title of these records. But this surely will be a derivative of our life, the mathematically perfect life of one state. And that if so, if that this is, and if that is so, then won't this be of its own accord, whatever I may wish, an epic? It will, I believe, and I know that it will. It w I feel my cheeks burning as I write this. This is probably like what a woman feels when she first senses in her the pulse of a new little person, still tiny and blind. It's me, and at the same time, it's not me. And for long months to come, she will have to nourish it with her own juice, her own blood, and then tear it painfully out of herself and lay it at the feet of one state. But I am ready, like all of us, or nearly all of us, I am ready.